when we mix fine grained soil in large quantities of water the resulting suspension of soil is called the liquid state of soil in this state soil exerts no resistance to flow or shear deformation soil flows like a liquid and it has zero shear strength now the water content of this suspension is reduced the soil starts developing resistance to flow there comes a stage when the sample changes from possessing no shear strength to possessing infinitesimal shear strength and changes from liquid to plastic state soil stops being liquid and does not flow the water content of the soil at that stage is known as the liquid limit we can determine the liquid limit by two laboratory methods cassegrain method and cone penetration method in cassegrain method we use an apparatus to give blows to the soil of different water contents we plot a graph between these experimentally obtained numbers of blows and their corresponding water content numbers of blows are plotted on log scale a best fitting curve is drawn through the experimental points and we observe the graph is approximately a straight line this curve is known as flow curve of soil the slope of this curve gives us an indication about the shear strength of the soil and it is known as the flow index of the soil it is denoted as if slope of this curve can be calculated by taking any two water contents w1 and w2 and their corresponding number of blows n1 and n2 now using this right angle triangle we can determine the tan theta and that will be the slope of this curve which is the flow index of the soil slope will be equal to this and by log rules we can write it as this be it the cassegrain method or cone penetration method the flow index can be defined through both the methods in cassegrain method graph is water content versus number of blows while in the cone penetration method it is water content versus penetration of cone into the soil soil with flow curve steeper will have the flow index value higher than that of the soil with the flow curve flatter a soil with higher value of flow index is said to possess a lower shear strength than that of a soil with the lower value of flow index we can see that by considering flow curves of these two different soils at water content w1 soil 1 flows at n1 soil 1 number of blows and soil 2 flows at n1 soil 2 number of blows now if we slightly reduce the water content of the soils then they will gain some shear strength and now soil 1 flows at n2 soil 1 number of blows and soil 2 flows at n2 soil 2 number of blows it is clear that for the same amount of water content reduction soil 1 needs very less number of additional blows for it to cause flow in the cassegrainic cup which means soil 1 gain very little shear strength while soil 2 needs relatively more number of blows to flow and that means soil 2 has gained more shear strength hence it is clear that with slight decrease in the water content soil 2 has become stiffer than soil 1 and has acquired higher shear strength hence using flow curve and flow index we say soil having high flow index has low shear strength flow index is a measure of rate at which the soil mass loses its shear strength with an increase in the water content read flow index on elementaryengineeringlibrary.com link is in the description thank you